A year ago, an F5 tornado devastated Moore, which is located just a few miles from Chickasaw Bricktown Ballpark here in Oklahoma City. Now, while there were thousands of people who helped in the storm's aftermath, the baseball team from the Big 12 school located the farthest away, made sure to do all that it could. When we were in our hotel rooms, I didn't really think that a tornado could make that much of an impact on a community um, until we went out there. Um, but it was just a really scary thing to think back on it and think that, know that a lot of families were affected. I wanted to do anything I could at that point. Um, I knew what happened. I saw, I saw pictures of more. And you know, that little community the tornado went through, it, it was destroyed. And it was all their homes were, were pretty much torn to pieces. Um, but I wanted to do anything I could, and I think Coach Maisie did also. So I think it was, it was a great thing that we helped out, and it's you know, the least we could do. The Mountaineers bought $4,000 worth of supplies to be distributed to those in need. And the day after their final game in the Phillips 66 Big 12 Baseball Championship, the team helped more residents, Mark and Katrina Ellard, remove debris from their destroyed home. That was like the start of the journey, you know, the journey that from what my, my life was then here, it seems almost completely different now. Uh, we live in a newer home and we have a lot of, you know, replaced all the things that we had before with newer things, which is really nice. Um, but uh, during that time, whenever that first happened, um, it was confusion. We didn't know, you know what we were going to do, where we were going to go, what, you know, how good place to live. And there were a lot of people who kind of helped us. We become friends with Mark and Katrina Ellard, and uh, we actually flew them up to Morgantown in February to speak at our baseball banquet and share their story with our community and tell the people of Morgantown how uh, the WVU baseball players affected their lives. Tuesday morning, after West Virginia took batting practice in OKC, the team went to Moore for a memorial service and to view the year after recovery efforts. But, uh, we, we felt like we were very fortunate to be in a position here last year to help those people. And in return, they don't know that they're doing this for us, but they're helping us when we go over there and see the resiliency and the toughness that they've showed and uh, their ability to bounce back in a short period of time. That's, that's really important lesson for our guys to see that, you know, it's not all about baseball. I'll, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. I, I haven't really helped out with a um, natural disaster like that. Um, so I'll always remember uh, all the houses being torn to shreds, all the little kids outside their house not having a house and the families and all the other stuff. It, it put things into perspective, that's for sure. Um, we realized that there's, there's a lot more to life than baseball and you know there's a lot more important things in life than baseball. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.